What? What, what, what? What the hell is this? Harumph, 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 harumph. I didn't get a harumph out of that guy. Give the governor harumph. Harumph. You watch your ass. I see you shiver with anticipation. Let the show begin. Hey, hey, everybody, this is David Heretic coming at you with another edition of Reactions, Reviews, and Rants. And tonight... Tonight. Okay. Making their debut on the channel tonight. Tonight. We have the Oral Cigarettes. Yes, indeed. How about that? The Oral Cigarettes making their debut on the channel. Before we go any further, for those of you who are feeling inclined to doing all of the clicks and the likes and the bibbidi bibbidi bob, do me a favor. Before you do all that stuff, please watch the whole video first, okay? Give me a chance to actually earn those clicks and likes. Now, after the video's done, if you still feel like doing all those clicks and likes, then by all means, feel free to click away. This comes as a request from SMK82, and it was also the winner of the Patreon request prioritization poll, winning with 38% of the vote. Oh boy, it was close. Uh, it was number 873 in the queue. It got bumped straight up to number one. So yes, indeed, ladies and gentlemen, your voice, your vote does matter. They all want to see me react to this. It is the Oral Cigarettes with a tune, and I really hope I pronounced this right, a tune called Kyoran Hey Kids. Now, have I heard the song before? No, I have not. To the best of my knowledge, this does not resonate with me in any way, shape, or form. However, there's always a possibility I may have heard the song in passing and I just don't realize it. So as always, if I start listening to the song and I suddenly go, wait a second. Yeah, I've heard this song before. I'll let you know. That's the truth. You know me, I'm gonna be honest with you guys. This was posted by Samuel Domingos, okay? And the video has 998,000 views. It'll get you there. Other than that, there's really nothing else left to say. Link to the original video will be down below in the video description for your viewing pleasure at your leisure. Let's get started. What do you say? Are you ready? Are you ready? Because here we go. All right, here we go. The Oral Cigarettes live uh, catch na me kantan na koto kyoran. Hey kids, black memory, hashtag the oral cigarettes. Wow, what a mouthful. All right, uh, I, oh, I have forgot to mention, uh, this is, um, uh, a, several songs, I guess, on this one video. Um, I was told to start at 750, which is right where we're at, and I'm supposed to end at 1207 so yeah there it is we'll see if i can actually hit that mark yeah I, last time i tried i i failed miserably so we'll see how this one goes all right let's do this all right boy let's do this
This has got a, it's a pretty unique sound. It's like a combination of uh, like 2000s pop rock meets 2000s uh, pop punk, which meets jazz. It, it's got some really nice things happen, like 90s jazz, like GRP jazz. It's got a really interesting sound. I'm actually kind of digging this. Um, the bass line, uh, the bass player's got some great bass lines going on in there. It's a great movement. Uh, completely unpredictable. It, it's like a walking bass line. There's, I haven't seen a pattern established yet in what he's playing. I'm digging it. I like what he's doing. Uh, guitar player, same thing. A lot of notation. Not so much chords, but far more attention on notation uh, within the verses. Very interesting. Um, drumming is solid. Uh, setting up some really nice play with feel. Uh, switching between straight time, double time, half time. Really nice job. Vocals sound good. I, I like what's happening in the vocals, especially in the chorus. Now, here's the thing. In the chorus with those harmonies, right? We're hearing four voices and then some. We're hearing three-part harmonies, and then there is a at least an additional voice. I actually think there's more than that. I think there's about additional three voices in the background, just doing some sustain, some ah, some some movements within the ahs. But uh, the harmonies sound really clean. But here's the thing: I only saw the lead vocalist and the bass player on a mic. The guitar player was not on a mic. The drummer might have been on a mic, but I didn't see him. It leads me to believe, e look, it, but here's the thing. Even if the drummer was on the mic, that, that accounts for three voices, but what about the additional voices? There is some track usage being utilized. There is obviously some track being added in here. Is that a bad thing? I don't think so. I, I, I don't believe so, because uh, here's the thing. They're not trying to hide it. They're, they're not trying to pretend by having, you know, people getting on mics and do the ah uh -huh when there's no, but when they're not really doing it. There's no lip sync job happening here. So I got no issue with that. I've never had a problem with track usage in live setting. Um, I know that might be a little bit of a controversial thing and a lot of people are under the, under the impression that, well, if you use tracks in a live show, it's not really a live show. I completely disagree. Absolutely, completely disagree. Um, it's when you're utilizing track and people are lip syncing to the track. Then I have a problem. But if they're utilizing the track just to add sound, add layers, and nobody's lip syncing it, nobody's faking it, and when they're on the mics, they actually are singing live, then I have no problem. I got no issue with that whatsoever. And I believe that's what's happening here. Uh, so I got no problem with that whatsoever. Um, it sounds good, man. I, I'm digging this tune. I'm digging this band so far. Uh, we still have a ways to go, but uh, we'll, we'll see how this goes. Track. It's fine. 
Ross Beats. I like it. I missed it. <laughs> That's twice in a row now. I've missed the mark. Missed it by two seconds. Ah! Fire me now. Just fire me now. Go ahead. I, I deserve it. Um, This was very, very interesting. Um, Huh. Let me get my thoughts together. I'll see you in the review, and we'll talk about it. Well, there you go, folks. That was the Oral Cigarettes with a tune, and I really hope I pronounced this right, a tune called... Kill Run Hey Kids. Oh boy, that was a rough one to pronounce. I hope I got that right. At least I was close. Uh, this was a request from SMK82, and it was also the winner of the Patreon request prioritization poll, winning with 38% of the vote. It was close. A one or two vote difference could have made a big difference there, but they got the win. Uh, it was number 873 in the queue. It got bumped straight up to number one. So yes, indeed, ladies and gentlemen, your voice, your vote does matter. Every vote counts, especially in a situation like this where we were really close. Okay, um, I thought about this, and I have a score here. Now, I don't think I'm going to change my mind on the score. I don't think so, but I might. I... I don't know though. I, I I think I think we're pretty set. Um, so let's let's just go with it. I guess I, I need to stop second guessing myself. Um, let's get to that score on a scale of one to ten. I'm gonna give that a nine point two. Yep, nine point two. You heard me. I didn't stutter. That is the score I feel this song and performance deserves. Remember that. <laughs> Let me tell you why. Why? Okay, first things first, a 9.2, what does that mean? Well, a 9.2 would equate out to an amazing, outstanding, impressive job. Uh, it would translate to five out of five stars and an A letter grade. So there you go, a 9.2, amazing, outstanding, impressive job. Five out of five stars and an A letter grade. Now, how did I come up with this score? <laughs> so glad you asked. Okay, uh, let's start off with the song itself. Really nice, very pleasing to the ear. Kind of had a couple of elements going for it. We had the poppiness for sure. Uh, we had some rock elements in there for sure. We even got a little bit of punk in there and a little bit of like 90s like GRP jazz going in there as well. Um, it was nice. It, it was really nice. It was a very nice blend. I don't feel like at any given time any one of those four elements overtook the song and took over and you know just became the dominant feel. No, it, it was it, it was pretty evenly balanced across the board. It was a very nice blend. Not always easy to do. It's very easy to let one particular style get ahead of everybody else, but this felt very even keel across the board. Uh, quarterly, it sounded just fine. The chordal progression sounded really nice, especially in the chorus. Chorus is the hook without question. Um, let's see, what else? Uh, as far as musicianship goes, drumming was solid. The drummer had a lot of fun back there playing around with feel, man. He really did. Uh, we were hitting around with uh, straight time, double time, half time. 
And uh, but every time he would switch up, it made sense. It was like, okay, I, I see why we switched here. It 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 makes perfect sense. It never felt awkward. It never felt disjointed. Uh, the guitar player, gotta give kudos to him. I felt like the guitar player and the bass player kind of switched roles a little bit. The guitar player's no notation, the melodic pattern that he came up with, it was an established pattern. It, it was a repetitive pattern. He he came up with this with this. Uh, this uh, rudimentary pattern. That, no, 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 that's not the word I'm looking for. He, he came up with a notational pattern that was repetitious and it made sense. It sounded good, but that's usually the bass player's job. The bass player, on the other hand, was just walking around, man. There was, I didn't hear a pattern. I, I, I kept looking for a, a, a repetition point. Never really heard one. He was just kind of walking around and having some fun. Very jazz style, very like John Patitucci-ish, Kim Stone-ish. Uh, Stanley Clark-ish, uh, Jimmy Haslip, Jimmy Haslip, that's the guy I'm really thinking of for this, for this bass player. Uh, he, he was really moving around quite a bit, and I absolutely dug that. Um, and everything he played made perfect sense, uh, which I also dug. When it came time to get into the chorus, though, everybody locked in. Everybody locked in. We were all kind of going off our own little ways during the verses, having some fun, Kind of moving around and having some freedom, but then we came time to get to the chorus. Boom! Everybody came together, and that was nice. Vocally, okay. Here's here's the thing. He didn't do anything wrong. He didn't do anything bad. Everything he did fit the song. I don't know if I'm necessarily the biggest fan of what he was doing in the verses, but when it came down to the choruses, boy, he got down to business, and it sounded really nice. Um, as far as the track usage goes, I I know for a fact they were using track. Now after watching that, there was definitely track usage. But here's the thing, you could tell when you could tell where the track was and where the where the organic vocals were. Uh, when they were not on the mics, their voices were missed in that second chorus. Uh, when they were up on the ego block, the, the guitar player and the bass player were up on the ego blocks instead. There was definitely a voice missing. The bass player's voice was definitely missing in that second chorus. So I liked that. I liked seeing that. And I liked hearing that because that let me know that there was organic vocals being provided by the bass player. It wasn't like he was sitting there lip syncing, which I absolutely appreciate. And like I said, I don't mind track usage. I don't mind track usage one bit. I'm in a couple of bands where we use tracks ourselves, but here's the thing. We don't sit there and pretend to sing with the tracks. You know, we, we are actually vocalizing and we're using the tracks more for filler, more to help kind of fill out the sound and give it a little more rounded sound. But we are singing organically with it. They were doing the exact same thing. So I'm not gonna sit here and knock them for doing that. I know a lot of people have kind of an issue of, well, if they're using track, you know, then it's not really live, it's not really a live performance. I'm sorry. I respectfully disagree. You and I are just gonna have a difference of opinion on that. We're gonna have to just agree to disagree. But I, I definitely appreciated what they were doing live on stage uh, with, their, with their vocalizations, their instrumentation, their playing. It all sounded great. I had no issue with that. Um, I'm not gonna lie though, we were not up in the nines with what they were playing. I mean, don't get me wrong, I saw the musicianship, I saw the place where, you know, coming out of the second chorus, guitar player went into the tapping, bass player then followed suit and he started following in tapping with him. It, impressive, yeah, sure, no problem, but I, I've seen other bands do that. So I'm not gonna seriously say my mind was blown by it. But I, I would absolutely put this up in the high eights, 8.8, 8.9 all day long. So how do we get up to a 9.2? I have said this time and time again on the channel, a live show can help your score or it can hurt your score. In this case, it helped. And the live show is what took us over out of the eights into the nines. Let's go down the checklist. Did they check off every box? Stage presence, check. Oh, definitely they had stage presence, please. Stage energy, are you kidding me? Of course that gets a check, man. They were moving all over the place, jumping up on Eagle Box, jumping off of Eagle Block, running from side to side. You know, and I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm not talking walking, they were running like in a full sprint, uh, constantly moving around the stage. Stage interaction, check. Yeah, we saw several times where they would interact with each other in passing, so no issue there. Uh, crowd interaction, big check. Lead vocals was constantly interacting with the crowd. The call and response with the crowd, loved seeing that, loved hearing that. Uh, showmanship, big check. Yes, they were definitely putting on a great show. They brought a lot of stage energy, st uh, stage antics, a lot of energy being put out 
with themselves without the help of production. Now here's where things get interesting. How about production? Did they get that check? Are you kidding me? Of course they got the check. That was a ton of lasers being utilized during this show, man. Holy smokes. Uh, I, I'm, th their show could come with a warning, definitely. You, you might want to wear eye protection because uh, otherwise you might get uh, lasers in the eyes. You better be careful. Um, but they, have, they definitely have produ uh, production without question. And, but like I said, is production a big deal? No, it's not a big deal. I, I've always considered production to be bonus points. So it definitely added on to the score without question, but it's not a huge deal. So yeah, the, the live show is what brought this out of the high eights into the low nines without question. Um, but yeah, I, I have absolutely no problem giving it the 9.2. I know that that might be a little bit of a point of contention with some people, but uh, I, I, I stand by it. I stand by that 9.2. I have no regrets giving it. And after talking about everything, yeah, I that's exactly where we need to be. So yeah, 9.2. I feel good with that score, and that's where we're going to stay. So let's wrap everything up here. And nice shiny bow, shall we? We got a 9.2, which is an amazing, outstanding, impressive job. We got a 5 out of 5 stars and an A letter grade. Take your pick. I don't care whichever one of those floats your boat. Final word, final score. I have spoken. Well, that's going to do it for this edition of Reactions, Reviews, and Rants. Hope you all enjoyed the show. Hope I was able to entertain you. If I was able to put a smile on your face and brighten your day, then I did my job. And I'm so glad I could do it. If you guys feel like joining the fan base, go ahead and click on that button down there. If you guys want to like the video, go ahead and like the video. If you guys want to ring the bell, go ahead and ring the bell. It honestly doesn't make any difference at all to me, but if you guys feel like doing these things, well then by all means, feel free to do so. Well, that's going to do it for tonight, folks. Thank you very much for watching, and as always, this is David Heretic signing off, reminding you to stay fabulous and support each other. Later. Peace.